I grew up in what I thought was a typical island family. Um, I have six brothers and two sisters, so there was always a lot happening. When my brothers and sisters will get around and they talk about how things used to be when we grew up, I haven't told them, but I probably can only remember maybe 5% of my childhood. Um, at a really young age, I'm not sure what the age was, um, I was sexually abused. As a young child who went through that and didn't know how to deal with it, I chose to black out my childhood. No one knew this had happened to me. I never told anyone. And um, looking at me, you wouldn't have thought I was having the struggle with myself um, in the inside. Um, but internally, I was just a mess. I went from just drinking every weekend as a 15-year-old, um, sneaking, sneaking out of home, um, jumping out of windows, and um, drinking every weekend until I was able to get a part-time job. And I used that part-time job to fuel and finance alcohol. I went from one bad relationship to the next, um, physically abusive, mentally abusive, um, just never found value in myself. I'd done a lot of stupid things in my life leading up to this point. But then I knew God had his hand on me and he had always had his hand on me. And that he always just watched over all the stupid things that I'd done and waited for me. I remember having a cigarette on the side of the road. This particular night, God came and he sat down next to me on the sidewalk. And he said to me, Angelica, if you just gave me one year of your life, you don't have to do anything, but if you just gave me one year of your life, I would change everything. So I'm still drunk, but I'm like, okay, God, um, you can have one year. And in that one year, I stopped drinking completely. I was a binge drinker for eight years. I was a chain smoker for eight years. Um, and then one day I just woke up and no more. God had taken it all away. Um, in that one year, I got engaged. We were married and I found out we were expecting our first child together. I was told that I would be able to have children, but that I wouldn't be able to hold them for the entire nine months. Our son was born and he was perfectly fine. I remember laying in bed one Sunday, just crying and it just wouldn't stop. It was just like a tap that was turned on and it wouldn't stop. And I said to God, God, if you just empty me, if I could just cry today and empty me of this pain so that tomorrow I can live again, like that's all I want. And I cried from the morning to the night. My husband came and held me, my son came and held me. And it was as if I was letting go of this little girl who could have protected herself, of a teenager who never knew her self-worth. And I was able to live again and just be me. Trusting in God is something I wouldn't have to think twice about anymore because I know that He'll never let me down, that He's always been there. He always was there. God asked me for one year of my life and for all that I've gotten in return, it's just unimaginable. I never thought I would be where I am today. Now I'm a mum, I'm a wife, I own my own home and I have an amazing career. And 
Everything is just looking up now. A number of years ago, some great friends of Marie and mine 